The synagogue shooting trial is now in its final phase. The jury will decide whether the gunman should be sentenced to death. KDK lead investigator Andy Sheehan with more from today's testimony. Life will never be the same. One after one, family members took the stand, describing their immeasurable loss in the wake of the synagogue massacre. They were two grown men, but throughout Squirrel Hill, Cecil and David Rosenthal were simply known as the boys. Taking the stand, Diane Rosenthal, the sister of the slain, mentally challenged brothers, testified that when they were diagnosed early with fragile X syndrome, her parents insisted they be raised at home with she and her sister Michelle rather than be put in an institution. It wasn't easy, she testified. There were a lot of challenges, as you can imagine. Sometimes I was ashamed, but it was probably the best thing that could ever happen to our family. The boys, she said, were a gift with an infectious joy for life, which they spread throughout the neighborhood. The boys taught us way more, even with their poor IQ. They taught us way more than we could ever teach them, she said. They were the glue that kept our family together. There's just a huge hole in our hearts. Rosenthal is just one of many family members of victims who are testifying in this, the sentencing phase of the trial, after which the prosecution will ask for the death penalty, while the defense will ask that Bowers be given life in prison without the possibility of release. The prosecution said they will highlight Bauer's hate for Jews and his lack of remorse, but the defense will talk of his troubled childhood and mental disorders in asking the jury to spare his life. Quote, we're not asking you to excuse what he did at the Tree of Life Synagogue, defense attorney Elisa Long said. He should be punished, but do so in voting for life and by asserting that new death is not necessary. Testifying on videotape, Cecil and David Rosenthal's mother, Joy, said she thanks God for her sons and couldn't be more proud to be their mother, but now they are gone. A big part of me died on October 27, 2018, she said. My boys were taken from me. I woke up with two loving sons and went to bed with only memories. Also testifying was Officer Anthony Burke, who was shot in the hand. He testified to his multiple operations and now his lack of confidence as a police officer. Reporting at the U.S. Courthouse downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.